Holy cow, did you guys see that? Am I recording? Oh my gosh, I'm about to crap myself. That was a giant, whatever that was, guys. Oh my gosh. Gosh, guys, why I wasn't recording, I will never know. Brown Trout just came up and popped, popped the hopper. <laughs> it's a good brown too, guys. All I've seen is minnows in this whole area. Yeah, we're really a light line here. I cannot control this thing at all. Don't break off, buddy. Oh my gosh. That is amazing, guys. Look at this brown. Perfect. On the hopper too, guys. Wow. He just came up and popped. On the hopper. What an awesome thing. Get this gun hooked. All right guys, what is up? I'm out here this evening and I'm gonna be trying some dry fly fishing for some brown trout here in this creek. Uh, there's a uh, cicada hatch that's going off. It's a 17 year hatch or something like that. So I've decided to come out here and throw some dry flies instead of streamers how I would normally throw for brown trout. But hopefully we can catch at least a few on the dry fly. I don't really expect anything giant, but if we can just get a few smaller brown trout, I'd be happy with that. But We'll see what happens and let's get after it. Oh my gosh, I wasn't even paying attention. Not recording? Yeah. Wow, I wasn't even looking. <laughs> I was thinking about where I was gonna make my next cast. There we go. Pop it right out. Not a bad brown right there. You ready to go. Definitely one in there. Solid flash. Need it further up, but not that direction. That was poor. I also got a leaf.
so hard to get it where I want it to need it to be. It's better. Got him. Oh my gosh, she popped off. I'm stuck on so much stuff over here. Holy cow, did you guys see that? Am I recording? Oh my gosh, I'm about to crap myself. That was a giant, whatever that was, guys. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. I'm having a heart attack right now. You guys see that wake? That is the biggest hit I've ever seen. Ever. I don't know how that didn't get the hook. Maybe I should have waited. Oh. I probably pulled back too soon, guys. That's probably what it was. It was a giant, though. Should I stay here all day? I'm tempted to. Oh. Swirl from the far side over there. Oh, coming out again. I don't know if that's the same fish. Crap. Crap. Oh, I saw it swirl again, dude. There's still a big one up there. 100%. Do I switch flies? Got him. Oh, God. Got him, guys. That was awesome, dude. That was awesome. It's a giant. Ooh. Keep pressure on. Oh, that was sick, guys. That was sick. Ooh. Oh, this is the greatest <laughs> I've ever. It's the best thing I've ever seen happen. Got my reels caught up. <sighs> Easy, but I don't have a real thin line on. Oh my gosh, guys. That's a big one. Oh, oh, come on, buddy. Don't pop off. Please don't pop off. Tire him out a little bit. Don't go down the creek. Whoa, buddy, what are you doing? Why are you going down? Oh, he's, oh, he's going down. He's going real far down. Got him caught up. Come on, buddy. It's a... Okay, 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 okay. I think my line's caught around him now. Not the greatest thing. Got him. Oh my gosh. That's a tank, guys. Holy cow. That's my biggest shot of this creek ever, guys. Oh my gosh. That is a tank. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Well, look at this trout, guys. What a stud. On the dry fly, too, guys. That was definitely the trout that hit me the first time. Oh, man. 
He's jumping out. Try to get him back in the water pretty quick. I think I'm gonna show this guy off just real fast, guys. So we can get him back in the water. Look at that, guys. Beautiful brown trout on the drop fly. Stunning. Get him back in the water. That one. There we go. I couldn't see it. I just felt the fish start swimming. There we go. Nice colors on him. He's a fat guy. I doubt there's more than one in here, but. Oh, there we go. Not a bad one. Come on in, buddy. He hooked on the tail? Look at that. There we go, he did. He hooked on the side somehow. He's a fat guy. Look at this fat trout right here, guys. Nice and plump. Let's get him back. Got one. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, there's another trap right there. Spooked up. Not a bad trap. Not for the drop. Show him off. Not bad at all. Guys, I'm not making this up. <laughs> Is this the same fish? There's no way. There's that many fish in these holes. Oh my gosh. That's even bigger, I think. It's definitely bigger. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, what Andrew was using in that video was, he's actually using a three-weight rod. Um, it's the Risen ITB, and he was only throwing a hopper. Um, that means he didn't have anything below it. There was no nymph below it. He was purely throwing a hopper. And he touched on the beginning of the video, but there is a one in every 17-year cicada hatch going on, and um, he was trying to capitalize on that. He probably should have been throwing an actual cicada fly, but he didn't have one at the time. He does now, I believe, but at the, when this video was originally filmed, he did not have a cicada dry fly, so he just do a hopper, which works generally the same way. But one thing I wanted to touch on that 
um, I've noticed it works a lot and I noticed he was doing it in this video is um, we kind of hop slash move our dry flies on purpose because if you think of a cicada hitting the water or a grasshopper hitting the water um, they don't just sit there dead in the water and float down um, they're gonna kick they're gonna move a cicada is gonna buzz a grasshopper is gonna kick its back legs and try to move so one of the things that we do to make our dry flies look more realistic is we literally will pop our dry flies across the surface almost like you would throw, almost like you would if you were throwing like a popper or something for bass. So just something to keep in mind, uh, keep in mind what you're imitating and try to make your fly look as much like what you're imitating as possible, whether that be moving it or not moving it. Also, if you're moving your dry fly like that, it eliminates or partially eliminates the need for a perfect drift. So. In some scenarios, you're trying to lay that fly perfectly. It has to have a perfect drift, no drag to get the fishes or to get a hit from a fish. But if you're throwing a grasshopper and you're popping it across the top of the water, you don't need to have a perfect cast, which helps out a ton in a lot of scenarios, especially in those small creeks where, as you can see, it's not always easy to get the perfect cast. But um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, hope you learned something from that little dry fly technique that we sometimes use and. Yeah, I hope to see you guys on another video. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, whatever else I'm supposed to say. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Hardman Fishing Adventures. Peace.